So I know what you're probably thinking. Does this girl realize she has the word soothing in her title, yet she's wearing a nine-foot snake like a belt? I get it. For most people, snakes, most reptiles at that would be considered a source of stress. But what if I told you that Matt here may be a source of solace for some? First, let's talk about stress. Each and every person in this room has experienced stress at some point in their life. You know what I mean, that exam you didn't quite prepare for, that overdue electricity bill sitting on the kitchen counter, meeting the in-laws for the first time. The human stress response is an incredible thing. It's our survival mechanism. Before the brain's visual centers have even picked up what's going on, the brain has triggered a cascade of signals rushing the body with adrenaline. This distress signal prepares the body to respond to the stressor appropriately. Once the stressful situation is dissipated, the brakes are applied and it allows us to return to a state of normality. See, not all stress is bad. You stress creates the seize the day attitude that motivates you to get up and meet your daily challenges. But for some, they can't apply these brakes for stress. This leaves the body in a constant state of emergency. The body goes into distress. Now distress is often perceived as being outside of our coping abilities. Long term, physiological and mental problems occur. I'm talking aches and pains, headaches, insomnia, anxiety, depression. So is there a solution? Well, see, stress is very personal and there isn't a universal cure. So you kind of just have to do what works for you. For some, this may be running until you can't pick up your feet. It may be finding your zen in the meditation. It might be talking about it till the cows come home. For others, this relief is found in animals. Now this is where my scaly sidekick comes in. I'm sure you've all heard of therapy dogs and cats, and hey, even dolphins have been used in animal-assisted therapy. But why not reptiles? I mean, they're hypoallergenic. <laughs> there you go. They're hypoallergenic. There are so many different types. I mean, you can get big, small, fast, slow, legs, no legs, so kind of whatever suits your fancy. We can talk about texture therapy. Texture stimulation is a form of relaxation used for people who basically suffer with stress. Reptiles, you've got the scales of snakes, you have the scutes of a tortoise, you have the bumps of a leopard gecko, just to name a few. At the end of the day, you can't run from stress, you can only learn how to cope with it. If you asked me to stand up here today and present this topic, there isn't a world in which I'd be able to do it without Matt. So if conventional therapy techniques don't work for you, it might be time to give my friend Matt here a shot. Thank you. Matt, nice, nice contrast.